grassroots level. Um, the mission is to be working in Tanzania, um, sharing best practice at community level on livestock, um, livestock issues. Um, they package knowledge uh, in different forms, um, some through CD, I think, and uh, other formats. Uh, they broadcast, broadcast information through radio and organise exchange visits. Uh, he's also formed a committee for livestock and agriculture and fisheries issues, which they hope will mobilise peers and help people to strategize on how to solve problems. Um, Yared is from Ethiopia and he's been working with the Beekeepers Association. They have about 450 plus members and he, they're involved in transferring technical knowledge on modern beekeeping and providing equipment, uh, best practice and processes uh, and also encouraging and enabling the, the members of the association to market honey and beeswax. Uh, and they also organise exchange visits between model uh, farmers. Uh, I've been working in Ethiopia for the past two years with participatory video. Uh, I've been living and working with a pastoralist community in the east of Ethiopia. Um, and I've been using video, teaching local well, community members to use video uh, to document their culture and their way of life and to share local knowledge with NGOs, researchers and policy makers. So we looked at some of the challenges that each of us have been facing in our work. Um, for physician, uh, the identification of markets is a key problem and securing good prices. Also in terms of livestock, weather is a major issue, especially drought. Uh, he's also suffering from insufficient resources, particularly in terms of funds and equipment. And he also feels that there's a lack of information and knowledge about how they can address some of those issues. Um, with Yared and his honey uh, or beekeeping work, um, they have supply problems. Um, they also suffer from price fluctuation uh, in terms of honey and beeswax and equipment. Um, also shortage of finance and land for beekeeping. Uh, they also have difficulties packaging their products um, and difficulties putting knowledge into practice. For me, uh, I've been working with pastoralists, so they're quite keen to uh, continue their way of life and traditional practices. They have also traditional institutions that they've been documenting through video. Uh, the group that I've been working with are currently facing a transition to agriculture, and they're worried about the impact that that's going to have on their indigenous knowledge and indigenous institutions. Uh, they'd like to put their point of view across, but it's also difficult to do this as it's a sensitive topic. So that's the challenge that I've been facing. Thank and touching on, on policy and in the middle here are all the different things that um, that we're doing so there's some overlap where um, well we have researchers who are creating knowledge and working in multi-stakeholder platforms um, we have um, people in organizations that are brokering knowledge and, and also trying to capture um, knowledge in order to learn and improve um, what, what they're doing um, Communicating best practice was, was another another task here, um, and data collection. We had lots of chats about uh, data collection and the challenges around that. For instance, you can get data overload. Um, what are the questions that we're asking in order to really use that data, um, and then developing um, systems so that we can really make use of it and it's going to the, the right audiences. So one of the big themes that came out was this question of translation. Um, which has come up even yesterday. Um, how do we make the information that we're creating or sharing um, accessible and in the right context for the stakeholders that, that we're working with? So, you know, problems in harnessing, capturing, but then also translating. Um, you also have those basic questions of what knowledge is actually required, what do we really need to know? Um, before you even get to the data collection stage. And then towards the end, we kind of came up with some overall thoughts, if you like, that um, sometimes there's lots of information available, but the basic information um, doesn't get through to that grassroots level. So we have all this information, but it really doesn't get through. So we, we don't necessarily need to keep creating lots and lots more information. 
Also, how do we create demand-driven information rather than pushing stuff onto people? And Peter came up with a kind of, we need to change from ISP to IXP, which is we need to become information exchange platforms rather than information service providers, so sharing rather than pushing. Great.